Merry Christmas and welcome to the 12th day of Nesmus. Christmas Eve is upon us and boy do I have a treat for you guys here today. This is going to take us back. Let's travel back to a time in 1988 when parents feared the Nintendo and were bitter they had to buy one. Um, we will be playing some Die Hard today. It is our 12th uh, game for the Nesmus special. But uh, let's regale ourselves with some 1980s Nintendo news. But we do know why kids love them and critics hate them. John Stossel reports, nuts for Nintendo, when 2020 <laughs> continues. Nuts for Nintendo, that's great. It may be the most addictive toy in history, and it's definitely the hottest thing this Christmas. Nintendo video games. They first arrived from Japan uh, three years ago, and now millions of American kids are hooked and mesmerized. When they do stop to talk, it's in a language only they understand. Well, John Stossel went out to discover the secret of Nintendo's success, but first he had to find one. I like how parents had no idea what Nintendo was when it came out. They were like so confused by it. Before the toy stores open, they're lined up outside. I'm in line, too, because the director of 2020 said, Stossel, I hate to ask, but you've got to help me get my kid a copy of Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh, great game. This man came all the way from Indiana to get one. He came a thousand miles just for this game? Yeah. I've done seven stores a day for three weeks now. And I cannot find it. Yeah, that guy wants to play it himself. He doesn't I have, have kids. I have my kids for the rest of the year, so I have to have this on Christmas Day. So to please the kids, they line up at the few stores that have been able to get copies of the hottest Nintendo games. Oh, look at these Mario old, like, 1980s, 1990s stores. Now, what's Nintendo, you ask, and why should you care? Well, I think it's something you should know about because it's captured America's children. School bus drivers report the kids are talking less about clothes and sports and what Joe did to Jane and more about... When you get to those things that go up and down, you just jump on them. It's... After school. Oh, I love trading tips with my friends at school. Look at this. This is like my childhood. Oh, all these kids are walking home in the snow, then running into somebody's basement to play Nintendo together, take, taking turns. We invited them to a Nintendo party. Oh, so nostalgic, guys. This is like, this is a Christmas gift unto itself. These controls direct the characters. The better your eye-hand coordination, the better you do. The game controller is used to control the characters on the screen. Bruce is editor of a magazine that follows the industry. How big a hit is this? This is as big or bigger than anything the toy industry has ever seen. Um, I'll, I'll give you one comparison. A Barbie, which is an institution, uh, does about a half a billion dollars a year. Nintendo does over three times as much. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo is bigger than Barbie. Pass it on. People in the industry say Nintendo simply has the best games. They come in two categories. Sports games such as tennis, hockey, football, boxing. All with good graphics and sound effects. Even more popular are the adventure games like Super Mario. Wait, two genres, sports and adventure. Mario is an Italian plumber who, under your control, enters the Mushroom Kingdom to fight off killer turtles and deadly ducks until he can rescue the Princess Toadstool. Deadly ducks? Kids love it. What's good about it? Birdo. He shoots the eggs out of his nose. And also there's this part where you can't go anywhere except for fall down a pit, but... We could make fun of Josh, but I salute that kid. Nowhere, the game was magical to him, it was magical to me. Yeah. Power to you, Josh. And it's a big improvement over the first video games, like Atari's Pong and Space Invaders. Because today's computer chips are better. They have more memory. There's much more involved in playing the game, much more excitement. There's better use of colors, better use of music. Hey, we play WWF. <laughs> hey, Wizards and uh, Warriors. That was on our uh, different characters. On our Nesmus. Oh, that guy is terrible. Uh, <laughs> you see this terrible controller uh, hand positioning. Different worlds, entirely different sets. If you think about the way a movie is produced, there are levels with caverns, and you break into underground oceans. There are secret holes that you go into. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a child version of me. I'm not in the news. 
secret but that does look pretty close to what I look like as a kid. <laughs> Bizarre new oh god. I was a nerd. You're throwing things that I've never even discovered in this game. Yeah, because you, cause you don't know. If you're a grown up, you hardly, know, re, you oh, hardly do like this. If you're a grown up, up, you have to do it. You tell them, little Jay. The, the chips, the technology that goes into this was invented in the United States. Yet, the Japanese are the ones who make it a hit. Why, why is that? Nintendo uh, is a 100-year-old company uh, in Japan, and they learned their lessons well. When buyers lost interest in the first generation of video games about four years ago, Nintendo quietly watched as American companies quit the business. Nintendo then bought licenses to the best of the arcade games. They created new games by getting independent designers to compete against each other for the right to work with Nintendo. Nintendo, please hold. One moment. Oh, the tip centers. At the company's U.S. headquarters, they listen to the customers. 50,000 people call Nintendo's 800 number every week asking for help with the games. Phones are manned by games fanatics who often play other games while answering questions. What that is, when you're at that link, though, you're almost at that point. Okay, what you want to do is, like I said, jump on the guy with the carpet. In Japan, the games are an even bigger success. These people are upset. Line up orderly. Your Nintendos will be dispersed. They are unable to get their kids a new version of a game called Dragon Quest. In the U.S., it's mostly Mario that they want. The last Super Mario Brothers 2 was just sold. Can they get upset? Oh, that woman can in the yellow is pissed. My credit card, please, can you do something? My kid wants it. His friend has it, and they're not friends anymore because he doesn't have it. All this makes me wonder, is the shortage real, or are they holding back supplies to increase the mystique? Coleco denies it, but industry insiders say that's exactly what happened with their Cabbage Patch doll a few years ago. The company shipped fewer dolls <laughs> the excitement. Look at these people Today, going nuts over the cabinets. Oh, look at all those Mario 2s! I'm like, sa I'm literally salivating. Japan, we did see plenty of the hard-to-get cartridges. The company denies that it's holding back. Believe me, uh, creating a shortage of this kind was nobody's design, and uh, uh, it's just one of those combinations of demand that far exceeded uh, uh, our most optimistic projections and an inability on the chip supplier to fulfill it. Now you really messed up. All this brings us to a final question. Should parents buy these games at all? The National Coalition Against Television Violence thinks they shouldn't because they say they're bad for kids. Like I like how you shoot the people with boomerangs and bombs. These games are bad for kids? Man, wait till Doom comes out. The Coalition says this will make some kids act violently. Well, I don't know about that, but there's another problem. Watching the kids play seeing the intensity of their interest, the word obsession comes to mind. Um, I bet I'm much better than him at Zelda. How many hours do you play a day? Around one or two. Two hours. <laughs> Lightweight. When you, when you shouldn't be doing your homework? Yeah. She doesn't like this it. girl's mother doesn't like the game. Because she thinks that you're going brain dead while you're watching it. Maybe you will be brain dead from staring at this thing all the time. No. And while we were talking, Mom was watching all this. That's creepy. Gets their mind off school when they first come home from school, but then it gets their mind totally off school. So we had to take it away for a while because homework wasn't getting done. Bedtime got pushed aside. What do you mean take it away for a while? I disassembled it and put it in the back of a closet for a while. But now you're letting them play again. Not as much. Oh, man, memories. <laughs> John, what's your feeling after watching this? Does it make them, uh, you know, brain dead, as you said? Or isn't there a certain amount of imagination that you have to use for this game? I think that's true, that it's not just like watching television. You have to use imagination. There are all these ways to handle the games. I think under the right time limits, it's fine. I like how the news is giving it a fair shot. They're not like, uh, you know, just making it out as like the worst thing ever. Like, kill ducks, kill ducks. And my wife and I stayed up till midnight playing it. <laughs> and you don't mind the so-called violence in it? Kill ducks, kill ducks? They're animated characters. And uh, I just think you have to pay attention and 
limit the time, and it's fine. Now I know how you're spending the holidays, That's watching right. Nintendo. Playing Nintendo. <laughs> Playing Nintendo. <laughs> well, that's how no, we spent the holidays, more. isn't it, folks? Nuts for Nintendo. If you are so interested, you can find this YouTube video. Um, you can watch it without my annoying uh, voiceover. But, uh, yeah, I. you know what? I wasn't planning on watching, like, a full thing here. Obviously, today, we are here to play the last, the most special Nesmus game of all, Die Hard. Um, but I was thinking recently of that news report and I looked it up and it was Christmas themed and I just wanted to watch it. And so I thought it would maybe be a nice way to cap off the, uh, the 12 days of Nesmus, uh, as, as it would be. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I didn't remember what the news's opinion was, but it was kind of cool to see how the news guy was like, you know what? It's not just going to turn kids violent. It's not brain dead you know they're shooting ducks it's animated like he had a really realistic view of nintendo i think i think i don't know what it was like for you guys but i know growing up like my parents had a dim view of nintendo they had a very dim view of teenage mutant ninja turtles of the simpsons like all the things that i look back on now and i think you know those were some of the most popular iconic things that every kid uh, in my grade played or watched and talked about and like even as an adult now like everyone makes Simpsons jokes of my generation like it was just part of our cultural heritage really my parents were against it you know so it's cool to see an adult who's more measured and you know he's not gonna let his kid play Nintendo 24-7 but uh, he seemed pretty open to uh, you know letting them try it out so yeah Anyway, today we are playing Die Hard. Is it a Christmas movie? Is it not? Who cares? Uh, it takes place during Christmas. That's good enough for us. Um, it stars the legendary John McClane and Alan Rickman. Actually, I guess it's Bruce Willis and Al Alan Rickman. Uh, Alan Rickman, of course, many famous roles. Uh, his other big one that I really like is Snape, of course, from Harry Potter. One of the best characters in that franchise, as it turns out. Like a sh... I mean, I guess everyone's seen it by now. But if you haven't, watch all the movies at the very end. You'll be very surprised by that character. Um, and Bruce Willis, John McClane, John McClain, one of his classic roles. I love this movie. Um, I think I did play this on the channel at some point, but now I don't remember. But who cares? We're going to play it on beginner mode. Now, this is a challenging game. So the way it works... There are six locks, as you can see there at the bottom. So in the movie, the bad guys are trying to break through locks uh, around a vault to steal bearer bonds, I think it is. Something like that. Um, you have a feet meter, which is very true to the video or to the movie. If you run on glass and stuff, you will hurt your feet. You have a life bar. There's 40 crooks. You have a pistol. This is... This is and, and look, you even have line of sight. Oh, God. Um, and... Just... Oh my god, and there's another bad guy here, too. Oh god. Just like the, uh... Just like the game, or like the movie, it is actually really hard to uh, kill guys. And so it really is sort of true to the to the game, or to the movie in that sense. I'm just going to alter my controls again. I still haven't figured out a way to permanently alter them. I, so I keep having to do this every single time. So for the B button, I want it to be A, and for the X button, I want it to be B. Bingo, bango. All right, there's another bad guy over there. So, uh, yeah, I'm wondering, I, I assume everyone who's watching this video right now, you watched the Die Hard movie, because first of all, if you haven't, you need to watch it. Um... And second of all, if you've never heard, there's a YouTube video called I'm Bruce. Um, and it's like a rap song with a bunch of Bruce Willis movie clips. Sounds weird. Look it up. It's called I'm Bruce or... Um, the chorus goes, why you want to hurt me, girl? Don't you know I'm Bruce Willis? I think it's just called I'm Bruce. But uh, yeah, look it up. Maybe if I remember, I'll put a link in the, the description down below. But anyway, Die Hard, I'm Bruce, those are two great things. But it, assuming everyone here has watched Die Hard, what is your favorite scene in the movie? Oh, we just straight up sniped that guy. Oh, ho, 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 now I got a machine gun. Oh, God. 
Oh god. Okay. Oh god, I think I ran out of bullets. Ow. Oh god, this is actually really hard. Okay, come on, buddy. Jeez, it's- it's like a real firefight in here. The guy keeps running away, too. Where is he? Where'd he go? Bastard. Man, he just like sprays bullets everywhere. Oh, we almost assassinated him with a bullet shot. Sorry, I'm just having to really concentrate here. Come on, die! Oh, jeez! Now that's a fight. Now, you have to avoid the glass. Oh, shoot. Go check Frank on the 30th floor. So you gotta avoid the glass so you don't hurt your feet. I think if your feet bar gets low, you just move slowly. Jeez. That does not give you a lot of health. Um, are there other items I could be using? Oh, we have a flashbang. Okay, let's try and use that. If a bad guy shows up, we'll flashbang him. Oh, there's another one over here, too. Might as well get it. Oh, did we get him? Oh, we did kill him. <laughs> Alright, we are... <laughs> Maybe this game is more meant to be played stealth-wise, like, uh, Metal Gear Solid, because I've killed three bad guys and I'm just about ready to die. Um, I guess let's go up. So I know there's a bunch of floors. So, basically today, don't get your hopes up, we ain't beating the game. I just want to put that out there right now. Um, oh, jeez. Oh my god, there's guys everywhere. Oh god, die! Oh god, oh my god, okay, I'm totally dead here. Run, John! Oh god, there's guys everywhere! I'm just fleeing, man. Look, one lock is down. I estimated about a half hour ago. One lock already! Go check the 34th floor, eh? I'll ambush him. Oh, he came up the elevator! Oh, we got him, though. He dropped a Coke. Sweet, nourishing Coca-Cola. Oh, come on, that didn't hit him? Ah, we're dead. That's brutal. Our unwelcome guest won't be bothering us anymore. Gentlemen. I can't do the Hans voice, Hans Gruber. You lose, game over. Merry Christmas, mother effer. That's what they should say. I don't even want to know what the advanced game is like. Um, one of my favorite... One of my favorite PlayStation 1 games, by the way, is the Die Hard Trilogy, actually. Which I did play... A couple Christmases ago. I did a very Die Hard Christmas a few years ago, and I played Die Hard the Arcade Game, Die Hard 1 and 2 and 3 on, like, PlayStation and, and, very, and Arcade and various things. I did not play the Die Hard NES game, I don't think. Although now... now... I'm thinking maybe I did, because I feel like I've definitely played this game on my channel before, and I'm like, where could I have played it? Maybe it was the very Die Hard Christmas. Doesn't really matter, I guess, one way or the other. Because it doesn't help us today, we're just totally boned. Okay, let's see, what happens if you go down a floor? Can you go down? John checks it, his pistol and finds two bullets in the clip. Okay, so floor 31 is the lowest possible floor. Oh god, there's a guy in here. Wait, did he just lock the door? He just locked me out. <laughs> what? Okay. Wait, can I open no, no other doors? Oh god. Oh, I ran out of bullets. Beat him to death, John. Oh, there's a med kit in there. Alright, he's dead. What? How do we open the door? There was a med kit in there. Okay, I guess I need a key card or something. Um, anyway, the first, uh, Die Hard game... So the Die Hard trilogy on PlayStation is actually three different Die Hard games. 
There's Die Hard 1, 2, and 3. Die Hard 1 is a third-person shooter kind of like this, only I think done much, much better. It's basically this made with PlayStation 1 level hardware, which you would imagine would be uh, quite a bit better. Uh, just because the PlayStation 1 was so much more capable than the NES. Uh, we're screwed, by the way. We got no gun. We have a pistol with no bullets. So that's gonna go great. Let's beat these guys to death. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> going, going to, you know what, frankly, that went better than I thought. Just run over here, screw our feet meter. It's a brawl, boys! Ho ho ho, now I got a machine gun. That is one of my favorite scenes, by the way. Um, but anyway, the first game is a third-person shooter, kind of like this, where you go floor to floor, killing bad guys and rescuing hostages. The second one is an on-rail shooter, and you're going through the airport, shooting up terrorists. And the third one is a race, a, a driving game, like you're driving a taxi around. I think we played all three in my very die-hard Christmas. Um, okay, let's just try this. Let's go right to the previous floor. Because I feel like there was some good stuff in here. Okay, so I guess if this guy opens a door and you get in here, you just really, you know, want to stay in there. So, okay, there's no point in going to that floor. Let's go up a level. In fact, let's go up two levels and see what's going on. Oh, there's a guy already. Oh, come on. I'm getting, like, stunned. Can these guys shoot each other? <laughs> Look at this hail <laughs> of bullets. Oh, I'm getting flashbanged and stunned. These guys are dicks, man. There we go. Killed one guy. Man, this this game is hard. I would like to see... You know what? I kind of want to watch somebody speedrun it. Just because I feel like it's near impossible. I can't even hit the guy up close. Oh, there we go. We got his machine gun. We get in the elevator. Does this take us anywhere? No. Can't ride the elevator. In the movies, he never did. He went on top of an elevator once, and then that was when he put the ho-ho-ho, now I've got a machine gun thing, and then he was, like, listening to their conversation, writing down names, trying to figure out how many terrorists there were. It's a really smart movie. Um... Die Hard might be one of my favorite 80s action movies. Uh, up there with... I mean, the only other ones that come to mind at the moment are like, uh, Commando and Predator, but there are also many others, so I just have to think about it for a bit. Um, anyway, ho ho ho, now I've got a machine gun, that is one of my favorite lines. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, other really good scenes. There's just so many good scenes. Um, pretty much any scene with Hans Gruber is great. Um, I like when he gives all those demands to the FBI. He's like, I want this Freedom Fighter release, and this one, and this one. And then at the end, his buddy's like, do you think they're really gonna do it? And he's like, who cares? You know, as long as it keeps them busy, um, we just need the, you know, we just need the time to break into the vault. Like, he's, he's so classy and smart, and I love his accent. Ooh, we're crawling through some vents. Oh, look at this. That's cool. I will say the graphics in this game are, like, simultaneously kind of good, but also, like, uh, kind of basic. Like, if you look at his walk animation, <laughs> he's just, like, wiggling one leg back and forth in front of him. It's kind of funny. Alright, they got through one lock. So I got some C4, so that's something. Oh, we've been over here. Explore all the way around. I can't think of another NES game that tried to do fog of war like this field of vision stuff it's not perfect right because like but it's still pretty good it's still pretty good it, it just sort of clears out a whole room at a time it's like ah you know if you stayed here now i can see this entire room um but it's it's still pretty impressive effort i would say um all right so there's nothing else on this floor so it looks like there's only about four floors at the beginning that you can really do anything on. Well, thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, all these doors that you can't get in. 
Okay, that's gonna hurt my feet a bit. Is there anything worth it in here? It literally, it's not worth it to come in here. Not even any health to... recover from the foot. So I must be- I must need a key card or something. There's so many locked doors around here. Okay, that is just a wall. I thought that was a window or something that we could break in. Oh, there we go. Ooh, we got more C4. Oh, here we go. So it seems like you want to kind of get close to guys. If you're from a, if you're fighting them from a distance, it's really hard to kill them. Up close, it seems a lot easier to just ice them really quickly. That does seem to be a strategy. We're, we've killed the most guys, I think. 34 terrorists left. It is kind of cool how there's just like a limited number. Anyone gonna be in here? Ooh. Oh, crap, I picked up both. I should've only picked up one. Well, there goes all the health. What's this thing? Ooh! A Coke! Okay, those flashing things are like Coke machines. Alright. Uh, oh, hello. Bad guys. Jeez. Okay, let's go with, uh... Oh, we got that guy. Oh no, I'm stunned! No, 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 no! Oh, we're doing so good! Briefly. I'm running. No, he's just standing there. Hey, there's a coke machine over here. We'll heal up a little. There we go. Oh, only one. Okay, we got no other... He's just gonna stand there like a dick. Oh, come on! Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I did get him! Look at this! Alright, we have very little health. But we've almost cleared this whole area. I think, I don't know, there could be like a dozen more guys. What the hell do I know? Okay, I think I got a... Lock 2 is open. I've taken control of the express elevator until this lock is done. Idiots! He's listening to us! Do not use the radio! Oh, there was such a good dynamic, too, in Die Hard, where, like, uh, John McClane had the radio, and, you know, he could, like, hear them, and they're trying to use it and trying not to use it, and... Uh, yeah. It's a great movie overall. Ah, oh, these stupid one-way doors. Alright. Oh, my feet. My feet are low on health. Oh, the, and there's nothing... Okay, I, I really don't know where to go. Oh, wait, how did that guy get over here? Oh, shit. We're dead. We're totally dead. Oh, we killed each other! Our unwelcome guest won't be bothering us. See, this is why I watched the news report at the beginning of this. I knew this game would be a lot of me dying. A lot of me dying. We'll do- we'll give it one more shot here. But, uh... This is just a hard game, man. Hard game. But of course, it is the most Christmassy NES game that is- that has ever existed or ever will exist. So obviously we had to play it. I mean, it's just- it just- that just makes sense, you know? It's just obvious. Guys, it is Christmas Eve! I hope... As I've said in many of the videos, I hope you've been having a good holiday so far, and that, uh... You're someplace warm, you're enjoying this video, maybe you're still working today, maybe you have the day off, if you're watching this at work... I hope it's giving you a little bit of joy from the drudgery that is the... Urban work life. Come on. Bastard. He, like, runs away, too. Aha! Gotcha! Oh, another guy just arrived. Elevator. Ow. 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 Jeez. Really, it's like, if you can kill a guy with only taking one or two hits, that's an achievement. Oh, where's the elevator? We should camp this out for when he arrives. 
Ah, damn it. Damn it. The AI is really tricky for these firefights. Yes! <laughs> Alright, what, what are all the items that we've got? Radio, submachine gun, and flashbangs. Those are your only items. There's, like, n very little health in this game. You need, like, a Mario-style mushroom that just jacks you up. Alright, well... That's all the health. So, okay, I'm pretty sure on this floor here... I don't know what this room is. But I'm pretty sure this, like, we've been in all the rooms, and that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, is there something over here? A oh, flashbang. Yeah. Oh god. Ow. Oh, he dodged my bullet. Bastard. Yes! Oh, he didn't even drop anything. Didn't even have the goddamn common courtesy to drop health thing or anything. Oops. Oh, we can pick a floor, eh? 30? Can't go to the 30th floor, that's where the hostages are. Okay, 33? Oh, and there's a guy instantly ready to kill me. <laughs> Flashbang! <laughs> What is this? What is this? Oh, I fell out the building trying to run away. Well, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Um, well, this has been Die Hard, the very last. You know what? It's funny. We start. So I think Metal Gear and Die Hard are both super iconic NES games. But they're also not really, in my opinion, great NES games. And it's not because they're con the concepts behind them are poor. And it's not even that I think they're particularly poorly executed. I think they were almost ahead of their curve. Um, how do I throw something? There we go. Get out of here. Um, Metal Gear Solid, we said in the very first Nesmus episode that, uh, you know, the Metal, uh, well, Metal Gear Solid itself would become... You know, a landmark game, super impressive. A lot of the the things that made Metal Gear Solid cool were pioneered in the first Metal Gear, but they just weren't ready for prime time. You know, and same way I think with Die Hard, it's it's oddly enough very Metal Gear ish in that you kind of have to run around through stealth, direct confrontation with more than one bag at a time is almost guaranteed death, but you do have to try to kill the guys. I think I actually don't one hundred percent know what the best strategy in this game is. Um, but, uh, but you, I think you see a much more refined version of that game that we just played in either Metal Gear Solid or the PlayStation Die Hard trilogy, uh, the first game, because that one is also a shooter, um, but you go around, you kill a bunch of terrorists and save hostages on every level, and that one is quite good, um, so you can check that on my channel if you're curious about it. Guys, this is our last Nesmus episode. I hope you have enjoyed spending the last 12 days in uh, Jay's retro room here. I've grown quite accustomed to it. And I think in future I'm going to do far more episodes in here. I mean, basically anytime I need to run an emulator, there's no excuse to not do it in here. We may get a PlayStation 1 for the room. We may do a few other fun things in here. Apparently you can play zapper guns on these CRT TVs. Hint, hint. And uh, you can use, uh, like, motion controls and stuff to hold the gun. So I've long talked about how zappers are kind of a lost uh, gaming peripheral, but through the magic of VR, they seem to actually be possible to bring back in, like, a real authentic form. So kind of curious to try that out at some point. Um, but guys, I'm wishing you a happy holidays, whoever you are, whatever you celebrate, know that I appreciate having you here on my channel, know that you deserve a good and happy holidays, and I'm wishing you all the best. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for sharing my Christmas nostalgia with me, and, uh, you have yourselves a happy holidays, and of course, tune back in soon, because, uh... 
Hey man, it's the Christmas holiday. It's time to play some video games. <laughs> Did you think I was going to take a break? Hell no. There's more games coming very soon. So I'll catch you in the next video, my friends. Have a good one. Peace. Try to hurt me, girl. Don't y'all know I'm Bruce Willis? Yo, why you try to hurt me, girl? Don't y'all know I'm Bruce? Why you try to hurt me? Why you try to hurt me? Hurt me? Why you try to hurt me? Why you try to hurt me? Hurt me? Why you try to hurt me? Why you try to hurt me? Hurt me? Don't y'all know I'm Bruce? Yo, why you try to hurt me, girl? Don't y'all know I'm Bruce?